What up with the world, this is your homeboy Wordplay TJ and I'm back with another video for you. This time around, I'm gonna talk about the cost of a music career. Stay tuned. All right, so I wanted to do a video essay this time and talk about the cost of a music career. So how musicians stay broke. That entails a lot of things, but I'm gonna talk about the things that keep a musician from stepping up to the next level and also keep a musician from you know rising financially to where they want to be so let's break down a few things common misconceptions how much it takes to break an artist and how much it would cost for you to maintain your career on a regular basis let's talk about some common misconceptions so fans tend to think that musicians have a lot of money or at least come from it and it sort of makes sense music is typically a hobby and it's a hobby that's done by people that have a little bit of disposable income because you have to buy instruments you have to do studio time you have to have all of this rehearsal space and room for merch and things of that nature and when it comes to having a full-blown career most people have their career really early in life and so by the time you get to a career age it's like hmm where did you get the money to even do all of this? Another misconception is that if you have a lot of fans, therefore you have a lot of money. And this is baffling to me, but it makes a little bit of sense, right? So most people, their interactions with musicians is through fame. And because a small minority of musicians are famous, and those are the biggest names that people know, then obviously people are going to say, if you're a musician, you have a lot of fans, then obviously you have some money. But this is not necessarily true. There are musicians with plenty of streams, plenty of fans, but couldn't sell a show if they tried. And that means that they're probably not very cash rich. Many of those musicians are one second away from their streams being taken away or something happening that will collapse their entire monetary game. So therefore, having a lot of fans doesn't mean you have some money. The last part is that it's easy to go viral and I wanna go a little bit deeper into this. So according to The Pudding and the Analytics website, they stated that about 25% of artists that charted on Spotify were from TikTok. And on TikTok, out of all of the viral songs that were there, about a thousand of them, only 12.5% of those were from new emerging artists. So that just means that it's really difficult for anybody to go viral, let alone on a platform like YouTube or Facebook or Instagram where the algorithms are just not in the favor of going viral anymore. So if you're betting on going viral, you're probably betting in the wrong direction. It's probably better to go a slow and steady race. But speaking of slow and steady, I'm a little confused because many artists that break out, let's say if they are attached to a major label, they're breaking out relatively quickly. The way it looks to us consumers is that somebody is nowhere one day and then here the next. And that's not really the case. A lot of people are signed for many, many years before they finally pop off. And that requires the record labels to spend a little bit of budget. The agency that's responsible for collecting some record label data has reported that it takes about $500,000 to $2 million to break an artist through a label. And that's absolutely nuts to me. Like they're taking all of that financial investment pouring it into several people and basically gambling until they find a hit so because it costs so much to break an artist could you do it for less amber horsberg is a music marketing consultant and she talks about how to take a budget that may be ten thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars and take that and boost your career a little bit. When it comes to the small amount, $10,000, you're basically trying to let people know that you exist. And with a larger budget of $100,000, you can be a little bit more comprehensive. That just means that you can spend on things like uh, promo or press releases or radio play. But thinking about these budgets, even that size is kind of ridiculous. I think about my annual budget for music and it's nowhere 
weren't near $10,000. That's because I thought it would be foolish to skip all of the free and the less costly platforms to boost my career. I'm all about the slow and steady, but those that can't wait that long put a little bit more into it. So in my mind, I believe a lot of artists might feel a little hopeless. And if you feel hopeless about, can you spend enough to even maintain your music career? You might want to think critically about it. Consider, can you maintain this for a long period of time? Do you have the budget? Do you even want to spend the budget? across many, many years in order to grow your music career. And the thing is, no music career is cheap. It costs you something to at least record and produce some music and put it out. And so the biggest question is, how can musicians overcome this? How can we take this kind of hopeless mentality around the cost of making music and turn it into something that we can triumph over. The bottom line is you're going to have to focus. You're going to have to get realistic. You're going to have to put those numbers down on paper and develop a plan. And you're going to have to keep making adjustments to your plan over and over again and also be consistent and also be good and also be yourself. The one thing that sets the 1% of artists apart from all the folks that try and try and try and never make it is that they are persistent, they are skilled, and they are focused on their craft. They take all the time they need in order to build a product and build a brand that people can connect to. And if you feel like you have that brand and you're ready to go, then it may be worth the cost. So that's it. Leave your comments down in the comment section. I appreciate you watching this video. Be sure to share it with somebody that might get something out of it. And be sure to hit that like button because YouTube likes that. So until next time, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ. Peace.